Hi everyone, Jaisalia. Welcome to my channel, Tech Solution. As we discussed in last uh, session that uh, uh, how to automate multiple things uh, into multiple industry. And uh, uh, I have explained about the different tools like Microsoft, Power Automate, UiPath, Automation Anywhere, and the Python. So today I'm going to make first video on how to automate certain things uh, through Power Automate. Okay, so yeah, I mean, uh, today I'm in the hot topic everywhere is like stock market, right? So basically, I mean, everyone is interested to learn in stock market and then they wanted to invest their money into stock market. But yeah, before earning, I mean, they have to learn certain things. So let's understand like uh, how to download the stock market data and uh, uh, how to quickly analyze like high delivery percentage of stocks. So it will be a very uh, quick and easy video. And uh, to automate certain things, you don't need to be a programmer or you don't need to be a technical expert, okay? So I'm going to explain very uh, simple uh, method which uh, anybody who is aware about little bit uh, Excel knowledge and the little bit uh, uh, very basic uh, uh, skill of uh, doing the automation, okay? So let me start with the... Uh, quick uh, introduction and the quick uh, how uh, like uh, how to install this power automate okay so just go in google and just type power automate and you will get this particular link and from this link just click on install and you can install this power automate microsoft power automate it will just take hardly uh, 5 minutes to install it on your desktop or laptop okay so i have already installed it on my machine and uh, after installing, you will get this type of interface wherein uh, you can you can see like I have created certain examples. So let me start with the new examples uh, like how to download the bow copy data from the NSC website. So all of you know that NSC is a very authorized website, National Stock Exchange website. Uh, it provides all types of data uh, on daily basis and uh, we can use those data for our learning purpose, for our analysis purpose. So let's quickly start. So you just need to click on this new flow. Once you click on this new flow, you will get uh, to know, I mean, it will ask like uh, uh, how, uh, like the name of flow. <clears throat> you can name anything like uh, uh, down. Okay, you can say first uh, stock and a okay. create. So once you click on create, it will load the another screen. Takes little time. Okay. So now these are the this is the screen wherein you can see all the options, and here you can see all the actions which you can take. So don't be don't get scared i mean uh, uh, there are many uh, features which they have provided and i will slowly explain all the features in different sessions but let's start with the very simple session like how to record it okay so first you if you want to record something you just need to click on this uh, uh, search bar and you can type chrome okay Okay, now once you type the Chrome, it will it will show you the launch new Chrome uh, option. Just click on, click and drag it over here. Okay, so this is the first step which we need to do. Once you drag it, it will open up this pop-up and it will ask like uh, which URL you wanted to open. Okay, so let's see, I mean, which URL we wanted to open. So we wanted to open the NSC website. So this link, I'm just... Uh, entering it and see like what it comes so it comes like it is loaded it is loaded the nsc website and uh, it will show like daily report monthly report and so on so we just wanted to as i said we wanted to download the daily report so once you uh, okay let me copy this particular link and let me go back to this site i will just copy paste this particular url because i wanted to open this url when my uh, automation project starts okay and i wanted to open with maximize mode 
so just click on save that's it see my first step has been done okay so now if i wanted to check like if it is running or not running then you just click on this run option and let's see how it is running See, it has opened uh, the same uh, Chrome browser with this particular URL and the NSC site has got opened, right? So now similar way, now you just need to see, like you need to download the bow copy. Bow copy is nothing but the daily report of stocks. So NSC is having 2000 plus stocks and which they are publishing every day in a daily report. So we just wanted to download that particular particular report on daily basis. So what I will do now, I will click on this particular record button. So once I click on this, it will open this particular record window. Let it come. Yeah. See, look at this record window. Okay. Now I wanted to download the bow copy data. So what I will, I will just type here, the full bow copy. Okay. Sorry. Before typing, I just need to click on this record button. I'll click on it. So it will tell me that recording will get started. Okay. So recording has got started now. And you can see that the icon has been changed to pause. Now I, I will just type. Whenever I'm moving my cursor uh, in the website, it will it will give me, it will highlight that particular uh, text box or URL. So I will just type here like what I wanted to search. Okay. So let me type. Uh, full bow copy and I will press a enter. So once I uh, press enter, it will start recording the steps. Look at here. It has started recording the steps. Now I'll come down and I can see the report has come. Look at this report, full bow copy security. I just need to click on this particular icon or link. So once I click on the link, it will download the report. It, it has downloaded the report. And then I'll click on this button. Or I'll try to open this. Okay. And it will open the bow copy of yesterday. See, the bow copy has been opened. And I'm done with my steps. So I will pause it. And let I will click on this done, right? So let's see what happens. So once I click on done, it will show me all the steps in a particular order. Look at these are the steps which has been started. So this is the first step, this is the second, first step where we have launched the Chrome browser with that particular URL and then it will start loading all the uh, next step and uh, it will give you the results. So let's try it out, I mean, how it works. So I'll just click on run and let's see if it, is it running or not. So I clicked on run. See, it has opened the browser with that particular thing. See, typed full bow copy. Downloaded the report, click open, that's it, done. We are done with the report, right? Now, the next step is to identify the high delivery percentage of stock. So what we can do, we can, we can prepare a macro. So uh, if you remember, I have explained uh, how to prepare a macro in the Excel in my one of the previous video, so that I mean, you don't have to repeat those steps. So I have prepared the one macro, which I can show it to you and I'll run it. So let me, okay, let me show you this developer options. Once I click on the developer option, look at the report uh, or this macro option. So this macro, I cannot see right now. Let me open the other file, which uh, will show me the macro report. Okay, otherwise let's prepare it again. Okay, let's quickly prepare the macro. So what I will do, let me prepare the macro, how to prepare the macro. 
so let me show you that so once i click on record macro it will start recording it okay so let me prepare and uh, let me give it to name like uh, uh, get high delivery percentage data okay click on okay the recording has been started right now we are automating see understand this part we are automating the excel part so you can automate many things through different tools right so first we have used the power automate to get the data now to to get the filter data in excel we are automating the steps into excel so now how to automate it so i'm just adding the column difference what do you mean by difference so if i wanted to check my today's price the today's closing price is greater than previous day closing price or not so i'm just just comparing these two fields so it's a very simple uh, if condition if my today's closing price is greater than yesterday's closing price if it is true then type 1 if it is not then type 0 bracket close and done so it is it is showing me that i mean today's closing price is lesser than the previous day price so it is saying that it is zero just click double click on this particular black dot and it will get copied in rest of the rows right now the next step is to find the exit stocks which i need right so i'll click on data i'll click on filter Once I click on filter, it will, sorry. Yeah, the filter has come. I will just identify all the equity category and I will check. And I want also one more category that I wanted to check price only which are greater than 100 because I don't want all the penny stocks small stocks right so i will just filter it with the greater than 100 so see, greater than 100 and i wanted to find it out the percentage of delivery should be greater than 50 so that means i mean more than 50 percent of delivery uh, are i mean uh, the stocks which are i'm selecting which are having greater than 50 percent delivery are the good stocks right people have accumulated those stocks on this particular day which is 13th october i'll click on okay and i will select the only good stock which is price is increased today than the yesterday's price click on okay look at this out of 2280 stock it has selected 150 stocks isn't it so i mean you just need to look for this 150 stocks and you can see like this 150 stocks are having a good chance of uh, moving further so i'll that's it i mean i'm going to now stop the recording so i'll click on this particular developer option i'll stop the recording and i'm done and whenever i'm saving the file let me save the file so once i save the file click on browse and uh, let me save the file into d colon how copy data and uh, I'll save this with save full copy. This is the macro recorded one. Okay, so I'll once I one whenever I'm saving it, I'll save it with the Excel macro enabled workbook. That's it. Save it. I'm done. So what I need to do next time, next time whenever these files are coming, I just need to record the macro. So let me let me open one of the file previously which I have opened. Uh, let me open the file of yeah this is the 11th october file okay so see it, it is the simple file which i'm opening uh, for the date of 11th october if i wanted to get the data as per my best delivery percentage for the 11th october what i need to do i just need to click on this developer option click on macro and see i have got this data right so once i click on it I mean, what it shows that this macro is already available. And once you click on run, it will run and it will uh, uh, it will show you the, all the filters which we have executed in previous macro. So I will click on run. See, I'm done. That's it. Single step. Out of 200, 280 stocks, it has 
uh, filtered out with 90 day stocks which are having the high delivery of the stocks right it's magical right so i mean every day every day you don't have to perform each and every steps manually what you need to do just go here select this run it and you are done you just need to run it i have not saved it so it is not showing me but once i save it once i click on save and then uh, once i uh, run it on daily basis it will execute all the steps in a particular order so it's very simple i mean you don't have to be a program you don't need a programming skill to automate any of the project microsoft power automate has given all the simple steps so i'll keep I'll uh, keep explaining all the different features. I mean, there are hundreds of features which is available uh, in the Microsoft Power Automate wherein you can you can open any other application. You can open Word, Excel, even you can open Outlook and send a mail, whatever you have filtered it out. So let's go uh, step by step because if I will try to explain everything today itself, you won't be able to uh, understand completely. So I will slowly and gradually explain each and every feature and I'll help you to automate your entire system, which you are spending uh, or which you are actually uh, using it on daily basis uh, and, and how to automate it and how you can save your uh, maximum time uh, 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 on it. Okay, so that's it, uh, guys. I mean, it will be a quick video and it is just a start for the automation and let's see how it is progressing. And I wanted to help each and every people who are technical, non-technical uh, uh, in their field. But uh, this quick uh, feature and uh, the rest of the sessions which I'm going to take in future is definitely going to help in your automation journey. So yeah, guys, I mean, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.